Hello everyone and welcome to episode 10 of Enemy Within for DCS World. And in this episode we have the arrival of the Poles. Uh, we've got a flight of Polish F-16s that have come here to help us. And this mission we're taking them out to do a joint training mission uh, to prepare us for combat operations. And of course, as you imagine, this isn't just going to stay with a training mission. So in terms of our loadout, what we have is two GBU-12s, uh, six Mark 82 uh, dumb firebombs, 14 M151 rockets, uh, the HE ones, seven M156 uh, smoke rockets, and a normal chaff flares, gun, etc. And so we are to take off, uh, fly with the F-16s and head over the uh, target range. And then the F-16s go in, we call out targets for them. Once they've made their pass, we then go in and finish off whatever's left. And we're under strict instructions to keep one GBU-12 per aircraft back. Uh, just in case anything kicks off in the area. Now, the briefing did make a point of mentioning something I'd completely forgotten, was that a NATO military advisor, uh, Captain Jan Voss, uh, is still missing, and he was kidnapped just before we turned up. And I am going to guess here, um, saying it here, he is a bad guy and he defected. Uh, so it keeps hinting that there's someone within uh, our organization, there's some weird amount of training and planning on the part of the CLA. I'm calling it here, that's Captain Jan Voss, he's gone over to the CLA and he's pulling the strings behind everything, giving them all of the uh, weapon system security details and so on, and that's why they've been so successful. So we'll see if that's how this plays out. Uh, either way, let's jump to when we're starting to make those uh, training bomb flights and we've got some nice third-person views there. So here's the F-16 launching their first Maverick. Weapon 1-1, three missiles. Uh, the two ship of F-16s launch three Mavericks between them. As they save one and they engage the tanks first. These are decommissioned T-55 tanks the Georgians have lent us for the training operation. And they get direct hits, as you would expect with Mavericks. And here comes the third one. Oh, perfect. I just check in there. Here they go, in for their second pass with their laser guided bombs. There we go, nice clean release. And again with precision guided munitions, just as you suspect. And then they go in for their second run, and again, laser guided bomb. No problem with it. And that is them pretty much out of ammo, yeah, so they Dodge go one off. A-10 can of course carry a lot more in terms of munition. So going at first with the Mark 82, these are the uh, dumb bombs. Just going in on a bunker here that's just in this tree line. Drop one, readjust. Second. And one gets a good hit. And while I'm going around, two finishes that target off. 
I go in on a dive on this group, I end up going in too steep. I do fling off a bomb there, probably shouldn't have while doing that manoeuvre. But it does manage to just get splash damage on one of the trucks. I go around again, nice easy picking, stationary practice targets. Drop a couple of bombs on that set. And get some good effect there. So it gives me a choice of whether to send in Viper or not, I see no reason not to, they are faster, they're armed, and so they should get to the target quicker. So here they go in, and I get confused here just watching them in third person. You can see the car on the road just ahead, but that is well short of the Maverick range that they're using. Then I realise they've decided to go in with guns. So 16 pilots were trying to show off that they're as good as an A-10, but they really should have just used the Maverick there. But I can't complain much, because here I start messing up. I get a good view of the target, get a laser on it, drop the GBU, and nicely keep an eye, laser manually straight away, so the bomb should track straight off of launch. Then it ticks down to zero and nothing happens. So, a bit confused. Go around again. And the same thing happens. I tick down to zero, and nothing happens. Turns out, this is because I didn't actually designate that as the target. Try and notice here when I go in for guns, the target is still the original coordinates. So I was dropping the bombs there, and they weren't even seeing the laser. But thankfully I do see the target. I've got my guns armed, not faffing around with anything here. Just go in. And one massive explosion there. Sorry for the guy in that uh, town, little house nearby. He's lost his friend. Warning, 
And so two was already engaging at that point. He dropped his bomb. I still have a single Mark 80T left. Drop it there. You can see the last moment I was taking ground fire. And I don't get anything on that run. So we're going with rockets. Uh, two's been pounding away at these for a while. See that they're in this tree line site. So fire off a series. And get nice accurate rockets. And here I realise my second mistake. Those are smoke rounds. I selected the Mark or M156, not the M151. So instead of a big load of high explosives, I just cover the area in smoke. This isn't the end of the world. I think that does actually stop them um, from seeing me, so they don't see. So we get no more AA fire. And Overlord Dodge 1-1. One, one. Be advised, target's been destroyed. It appears the shooting has stopped. And number two finishes him off before one, I can get back around. Great work. Break. All flights, you are clear to RGB. Copy that. And Dodge 1-1 one, one copies. You can show us RTB at this time. 5 one, one returning to base. Yeah, just about. And since seizure of large amounts of Georgian equipment and armor by the CLA, things are only going to get worse. How was that even possible? Don't get me started on this one. Just go ahead and land for us. We'll go ahead and talk at debriefing. What's it that? See you there. So that training mission nicely demonstrated that, well, we're in need of training. Uh, the F-16s managed to screw up and decide not to fire the Maverick. No idea why that was. Uh, I managed to drop two bombs in the middle of some Georgian field, um, thanks to altitude, not remembering altitude. to redesignate my SPI. And then I got the smoke rounds and high explosive rounds the wrong way around. Guess it's better than trying to lay down smoke near friendlies and blowing them up, but I need to watch that going forward. So in terms of actual damage, uh, not counting the training targets, I took out a, um, a BTR, an APC, and probably a Georgian's house in the secondary explosion. And then my number two got all of the remaining kills. Uh, there were four... Uh, Urals with anti-air guns on the back in that forest, and he took them all out. So, not our grandest mission, uh, but still pretty interesting one. It'll be interesting to see how the F-16s fit into this going forward. Uh, but for that, we'll have to wait till next time. Uh, until then, uh, members have fun. Cheers.